Well, this piece here, um, it was originally created about five or six years ago um, at kind of the height of kind of the whole political drama with the wall and immigrants mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, and the reason I did that was not so much to recreate the wall. It's, it really has nothing to do with the wall, so to speak. Um, because when we talk about immigration, when we talk specifically about Mexican Americans, um, Central Americans, and so forth, that conversation was never took place before 9-11. You know, it was always kind of a passing thought, but then all of a sudden the temperature turned up a little bit. And over time, I mean, we're in 2021, and the flame is pretty high on that. And what I want people to focus on, not so much about immigration as a whole or as a political statement, but the stories of people that did migrate here. How did your family get here? You know, what was their process? You know, what were their trials and tribulations? What happened that morning when they woke up and said, hey, I'm gonna make a change. I'm moving to the United States of America. You know, and over time, you'll see things like the rhetoric that we hear now. And, you know, when I did this piece, I did a lot of research. That hasn't changed from 1830 to 2021. The same things are still being said. Um, legislation is still the same. But what hasn't changed is people's motivation to leave uh, violence, to leave poverty, to leave political persecution, those kind of things like that. These are the stories that should be told when you see this. And taking individual stories about your family and, you know, what was their migration? Where did they sleep at? Where did they eat? Where did they work? How did they get here? You know, why did they settle where they settled rather than somewhere else? Um, did they have to move back and forth? Those kind of conversations. Keeping that history alive because as we get to second, third uh, generations of people, the story gets diluted. And what I'm hoping is that you leave, you see this, you go home, you research your own family, not immigration as a whole, but your individual family, and talk about and even document the story that got you to be in this museum today to look at this piece. That's kind of the hope with, with this piece as a whole.